two weeks, 5,500 miles, 12 states, and a $2,000 budget. Can we do it? Almost two weeks ago, we gave ourselves this challenge and we started it off in Arizona. Day one and day two was spent driving across New Mexico into Texas. We quickly learned that the bugs were much bigger in Texas. We hit all the fun spots, Bunker Branding, Bucky's, and the Magnolia Silos. We drove through Oklahoma and Kansas and realized we weren't in Arizona anymore with these toll roads. We found a theme park to overnight in in Missouri, rode the rides, and even got stuck on one. We finally found fall in Iowa and in Minnesota. It did not disappoint. From there, we headed to one of Hillary's biggest bucket list items, Lambeau Stadium. State number nine had us going over the Mackinac Bridge. From there, we parked the van and had fun visiting all of Bob's family, since that's where he's from. We jumped back in the van to head home and hit state number 10, 11, and 12 all in one day. Now that you're all caught up, let's start today's video out in Oklahoma and begin the last two days of our journey home. This is real van life. <laughs> Waking up in a random parking lot in the middle and early in the morning cleaning your windshield so that you can see as you drive down the road. <laughs> Before we have a nine hour drive. Yeah, nine and a half, nine, something like that. Depends on where we stop, if there's availability. Yeah, we definitely don't have a reservation anywhere at this point, but that doesn't seem to matter with van life. I think we're going to look for an RV park in Albuquerque, New Mexico today and see if we can get into one of those so we can get some showers, even though we do have a shower. We technically can use ours. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little harder because we're so tall. But yeah, that's our, we just woke up about an hour ago. It's seven in the morning here in, where are we? We're in Oklahoma. Yeah, that's all I know. Yeah, it, it starts with a D. <laughs> I'm sure you guys remember. I've said it so many times. We're just getting our act together so we can jump on the road. There's, a, there's two mosquitoes right there. There's a ton of mosquitoes. Oh my goodness. What are we going to do? How do you get them out? Shh, wish them. Get them out, get them out. There's still three. There's two right there. Look, there's one on that thing. Okay. Okay, hurry, shut your door. <laughs> oh, there's the one right there. Ugh. I think I got it. Got him. Got him. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> you get delirious after days and days of driving. That's all I can say. Stop of the morning. We're just outside Oklahoma City and the van needs fuel and so do we. So Starbucks it is. Then we'll get gas first and then on to Starbucks. Yeah. What'd you see? Breakfast of champions. <laughs> oh, I thought you saw a scratch on the car. No, no, I didn't see any. I didn't see any scratches. Okay. The wind caught the door. Oh. It's kind of windy out actually. Okay. Did a quick stop at Target. Got a few things, got dinner tonight, got breakfast. Oh. I need to put away the groceries. Yeah. Our plan tonight is to go to Albuquerque on the other side, hopefully and stay at an RV park, but we haven't called. We're hoping we can get a reservation because we know the Albuquerque Balloon Festival 
balloon festival just ended yesterday. So hopefully we can get a spot. Well, we found the rain. <laughs> this is how we roll. We got a game plan. I just made us sandwiches. It's a good day. It is rainy though. Quick pit stop. We just got some gas. I'm not for sure where we are. Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa, New Mexico. And now we're gonna quick go inside and I don't know, get some snacks or something. We just need to walk around. We have less than two hours until we get to our stop for the night. <laughs> oh. It is freezing. I expected it to be warmer here. We did a thing. Got some french fries. And? Drop a shake or yes, a shake. Yes, I got jalapeno poppers, you got a shake. Yeah. And we already had lunch in the car. What's wrong with us? It's like 2 p.m. right now. And we're just kind of like, okay, if we're gonna make the last two hours, we need a little pick-me-up. Your fries are good, by the way. Hey. Get on the road. Here we go. On the Enchanted road Trails RV Park and Trading Post. Hour and 53 minutes, 129 miles. <sighs> Feeling a wee bit tired. Ready are you to be out of this van? Hey, like I know we did basically twice as much as yesterday as we did today. Twice as much. Yesterday we did twice as much as we did today. Yeah. I am done. I agree. This one's been brutal. Today's been brutal. Maybe it's because it was just like going through Oklahoma. Uh, where did we go? Oklahoma, New Mexico. Oh, Oklahoma, tip of Texas, New Mexico. Nine Enchanted hours of driving. Trails. Yeah, in Tangent Trails, that's where we're supposed to be. Oh my gosh, Bob. I was expecting it to be warm. I don't know why. It's so cold, holy crap. I was expecting it to be warm too. We're six hours from Phoenix. What in the actual heck? <laughs> All right, we're good to go. Somehow they had us down as a 22 foot RV with a tow, which I clearly remember telling them, no tow, just a van, but it's okay. So we're gonna go find our spot in this freezing weather. Put some warm clothes on, this is terrible. You're not dressed for the weather, Bob. No. It's cold. What town does it even say? 52, but it feels colder. It does feel colder than 52. It says it's 52, but I'm gonna I'm gonna double check that. It feels way colder than 52. Probably a wind chill. 
my phone says 50 and it says it feels like 45. That I, believe. that I believe. I'm actually kind of grateful that we're in the middle oh, of really? the RV park because yeah. it makes it easier. Okay, hold on. It makes it easier for us to I'm gonna go this way. I changed my mind three times. It makes it easier for us to get uh, or block the wind. Oh, that's a good point. level wow. as crap. We're on level. We're like, like sideways. I know. Shoot. We really gotta do. figure that out. I'll be back. This is what we do. Every time, gotta set up. Gotta set up. Gotta charge the camera. We're good to go. We need to do some dishes. But we, for now, we're gonna go walk and find the bathrooms and look at the shower situation and see. It has a code. What we got going on here? Oh yeah, what's the code? One five three. Uno. Cinco. <laughs> three. One five three. Okay, there's our spot for the night. We got leveled a... well. We got a power electric, which. I'm not for sure there is a shower here. There might not be. So I might be using the van shower tonight. Looks like we got a shower. Come over here. There we go. That's where I'm really, I had them all on. All right. Good enough for me. What have we got for tonight? We're making some bread or biscuits. Sorry. Biscuits. I see some pesto. Right. Probably gonna have some chicken and vegetables. Yep. Our signature dish. Our signature dish with some salad. So let's here we're gonna throw that away. <laughs> um where was the chicken? Um in the cupboard. We're cheating tonight. doing canned chicken do you feel like a, do you feel like a cheater no no not at all <laughs> do you just feel tired i feel tired i mean today is our last full day and then tomorrow's our last day and then we did 5500 miles in two weeks and we are gonna figure out our budget tonight and see where we're at with our budget I'm pretty sure we got close to our budget or we went over, but we will see. Okay. What do we have going on here, Bobbert? Oh, oh my goodness. <gasps> Holy moly, guacamole. It's going to be so good. These are so hot. <laughs> <laughs> let's but, eat. Let's eat. Dinner was fabulous. As always, Bob is an amazing cook. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. I got my towel. I'm walking to the shower. Oh, I thought Bob called me. I'm walking to the shower. I'm gonna take a quick shower and then go get in our comfy little van and say goodnight. So I think this is it for today. I think we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is the last day of our two week, 5,000 plus mile trip in the van, chasing fall, visiting friends, visiting family. It's almost over. We have six hours left of driving and then we're home. I am sad. I have loved living out of this little teeny space with Bob for the last two weeks. I definitely see full time in our future for sure. It's just the best. I love traveling. I love 
seeing things and just having our little home. And yeah, this trip is about to come to an end. Bob is currently using the RV bathroom while he was in there. I cleaned our little house up, I'll show you, but I think the camera doesn't do really good in this lighting in here, but we'll try it. It actually was kind of nice to have a little 20 minutes to myself to get everything cleaned up and ready. Yeah, the camera doesn't do well, but it's all good to go. Good morning, we're getting ready to head out. Like a fetus, head out. <laughs> Would you do me a favor? There's an outside light. Will you turn that on so I can actually see over here when I'm gathering everything up? Are you excited to go out there? Uh, not exactly. Oh. Yeah, why aren't you excited? Uh, I'm not excited because it's raining quite hard actually, and it's cold. It's like 44 degrees and raining. And I'm just going to be cold and wet. I'll just uh, do. Just turn like the water pump off and stuff, but uh, I'll okay. be back. Good luck. How is it? It's cold and wet. <laughs> it's very wet. <laughs> I turned off the light on you on accident. Oh, I think that was no accident. <laughs> How do we turn off this light? Oh, right here? Yeah. Okay. So all the lights are off. The water pump is off. Heater is off. Countertops are clear. I think we're good to go. Okay. Well, this isn't drying as fast as I wanted. I don't really like doing this because it. Six and a half hours left. Let's do this. All right. Let's head out. How'd you feel that little hour long drive went? Well, it started off in the dark and in the rain. And, and we the, were regretting our choices. Yeah, and in the mountains. And I was regretting it. But we made it through safe. And actually it's a cute little town. So Where are we? Gallup, New Mexico. Gallup, New Mexico. We're both pretty hungry. I opted for Starbucks breakfast. Bob vetoed that and opted for Cracker Barrel. So we're on our way to Cracker Barrel. I'm more of the kind of person that's like, we have four hours and 40 minutes left. Let's gut it out. And he is like, I just kind of want to take it easy on our way home. Not today. Normally I'm that way. Yeah. Normally I'm the let's get home like right now or let's get there right now but that 15 hour day and then a 10 hour day i mean you're feeling it i'm feeling it i'm a little tired so okay I'm, I'm wanting to take it slow today he's the driver so we are definitely gonna do what makes him the most happy and comfortable all these people overnight here we could have totally made it longer no, no in the rain last night nope i was done last night although this was this was always on my places to stop whether we were coming or going all right let's go get some good breakfast I had to laugh laughing? because we missed the Arizona or we missed the New Mexico sign when we left Arizona on our way out. And we also almost missed it. I mean, we kind of technically missed it. We missed the welcome to Arizona sign. Yes. We missed the welcome to Arizona sign on our way back in. So it just makes me laugh that we missed it. <sighs> because we're sitting here talking, we're sharing our highs and lows of the trip. 
And then all of a sudden I see welcome to Arizona and I'm like, ah, ah, ah. dang it, I missed that shot. But oh well, we're in Arizona guys. We did it. I just can't believe that we did it. Two weeks. I'm not for sure how many miles yet. We, we, we started off, 5, 000, we started off thinking we would do 5,500, but I don't think it's going to be that much. I think it's going to be a little less than 5,500. We're 265 miles from our house, but the trip is almost over. It's so sad. But we were actually just been sitting here planning our next trip, so stay tuned. It's going to be good. Last time we were on this section of road, the skylight blew open. That was fun. Yeah, can't do it now though. Got her zip tied down nice and tight. <laughs> Supposedly, the parts are in to get it fixed, so. Yep, that's a couple things on our to-do list, on our to-do list once we get home. We need to change the oil, we need to call La Mesa, schedule our warranty service stuff. Supposedly they have all the parts of everything at. Yes. So that's exciting news. Uh, and of course, this thing needs a bath. Yes. So dirty. So dirty. We're about 70 miles out. And I'm just so happy that so far our van did so good. Like, I just feel really proud of our van because you guys know we've had so many issues with this van to where we weren't for sure of taking a 5,000 mile trip was a smart move or a dumb move. But we just decided to just throw caution to the wind and try it. I'm so glad we did, but I'm just so happy that it made it. It did good. I, I don't think we had any major issues other than that second night in Texas in Bernie, Texas at the cave without a name that episode where it wouldn't charge all night. That was scary. But after that one night of like it not charging at all, it freaked us out. And we thought there's no way you can do this trip if you can't charge your batteries. So happy to report everything has went good. We were always able to change, charge our batteries. Was there another major issue that we were like, oh crap on? Oh, yes, the backup camera. Oh. Remember when the backup camera just stopped working for about That's four right. hours? That's right, just randomly Randomly stopped. stopped working. We didn't know what to do. You know, the, the system right here, it just stopped working. Well, it didn't work for, I wanna say about four hours. We rely on it every single day and to back up. You really have to have a backup camera with this kind of vehicle, so. Happy to report. Our backup camera has worked this entire time since then. And then other than that, little things here and there, but nothing major. So I will say I'm really happy with our van. Even though I've been skeptical this whole entire summer with all the issues that we've had, we still have a lot to get fixed. But with all those parts being here, I'm feeling very hopeful about the situation and happy with our Tolaro right now. You're going really fast. I'm being passed by everybody. It's the wind. Oh, it's super windy. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going very fast. Could you imagine if we didn't have our uh, sumo springs? Oh, that right there is the number one upgrade that every single Pro Master must do because the body sway. We had the 1500 and we've had the 3500. The body sway is crazy in the wind but put those things on, so much better. Yeah. Sumo springs for the wind. Ah! Doesn't Bob! Mean, doesn't mean that the wind's not gonna blow you around. It just doesn't feel like it's gonna tip over. Right. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. All right, we are five minutes from our house. We're officially done with the trip. 
but we're done. We made it. It's hot. It's 82 degrees in Arizona. So we did it. We made the 5,000 plus mile trip. We're not really for sure how many miles it was just yet. We have to look at everything and tally up all the final numbers. But it was the best trip. And I'm sad it's over. But we are, like I said earlier, we're already planning our next trip. Actually, in the next couple. So, it won't be long. We also have some really cool van upgrades coming up. Oh, that's true. We and do. We are looking forward to sharing. And, I don't know. We'll see if we can maybe find some more fun adventures here in Arizona to share. Yeah, and the, the upgrades we have coming... We ordered quite a long time ago. 11 week lead time. Yep. Gotta love the supply chain stuff. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for enjoying this journey with us and this adventure and everything. It's been a blast. Until next time. Bye guys. Bye guys. Place, a new home for a while Let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back Take my time, just enjoy the ride I know man